Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media 1. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC. <sighs> so what have I got for you today? Well, I'm going to show you another... It is, well, it's another landmark TV series, in my opinion. It's, it's partly based on what it's based on, basically. I will read a segment. I have got some notes on my phone about it. So what we're talking about today is Danger UXB, Unexploded Bomb. That's what UXB stands for. And the series chronicles the exploits of the fictional 97 Tunneling Company, which has been made a bomb disposal unit and especially 347 section of the company to deal with, with the thousands of unexploded bombs UXBs in London during the Blitz. As with all his fellow officers, Ash must, for the most part, learn the techniques and procedures of disarming and destroying the UXBs through experience, repeatedly confronted with more cunning and deadlier technological advisors in aerial bomb fusing. The series primarily features military storylines through among this is a romantic thread featuring an inventor's married daughter Susan Mount Judy Geeson with whom Ash falls in love and other human interests Ringentism. the program was partly based on unexploded bomb the story of disposal of bomb disposal Memoirs of Major A. B. Hartley, M. B. E. R. E. Is its ep episodes were written by Oxworth and four screenwriters. The series was filmed in 1978 in and around the Clapham and Stratham and Tooting areas of South London. Lieutenant Colonel E. E. Gooch, R. E. A. E. R. R. T. D. Was the technical advisor. The program appeared on the US PS, uh, PBS as a segment of Masterpiece Theatre from 4th of January to the 5th of April 1981. It was also screened in Australia by the public broadcaster ABC Television and in New Zealand by, by Television New Zealand. So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, this is an exploded bomb. And yeah, another reason why I took some notes is because I haven't seen this for a long time, but yo, know, you know, remember where when a young Royal Engineer officer is killed trying to defuse a bomb, he is replaced by a, a raw office, officer recruit, Brian Ash. Ash is shocked to discover that he, a <laughs> that his new unit, the ninety seven tunneling company, is in fact hastily formed a bomb disposal squad with blitz devastating London every night and making massive demands on Royal Engineers and manpower he is to take command of 347 section forthwith and uh, it, it's not long before he's facing the real thing at close range with his men looking on from from a stable distance making bets as to whether he'll go the same way as his predecessor. <laughs> yeah, they do, I'll tell you that. The highly popular, critically acclaimed series was was created and produced by John Oxworth. Upstairs and Downstairs, the Jeremy Brett Show or Cohn stories, starred Anthony Andrews. Bright Ted Reed visited KMB Spies in early role with Judy Geese and The Eagle Has Landed and, and uh, Brannigan, Ian Cuthbertson, Budgie, Doctor Who, Morris Reviews, Tweet Faulty, Hillsborough. This is Outstanding Series was first broadcast on ITV1 in 1979 and is presented here complete and uncut. So there you go, it's all complete and uncut. And um, yeah, 
when he first starts, he, he's very, yeah, you know, Ash is very, very, very raw recruit. He's never, he's never defused a bomb before, basically. And what he does, when he's faced with the real thing, his men, uh, uh, distance, and the second bet, so, oh, well, he's going to blow himself up and things like that. But Ash surprises a lot of people. He, he, he really does. And he just, you know, he, he does defuse his, his very first bomb, the real thing. He does, he does uh, defuse it. And quickly, the morale is lifted in 347 Company, thinking, well, this can be done. And Ash knows he can do it. And things like that, but as you know, as the pilot episode, you know, ended in a success, then the next episode after that, the second episode, it really, you know, you know, you know started to test, you know, this new recruit, and it really did because, you know, they're, they're using techniques that I've never seen before, I, I, I've never heard of, you know, what I mean, like putting, you know, you know, you know treacle into into mechanism to stop it you know to stop it from ticking and things like that using a stethoscope so they can hear it you know tick 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 you know things like that yeah you know i mean it is a landmark series and that's how i'm gonna you know i can't really say it is an outstanding series and it and, it, and to me it is a, a landmark series even though the story itself it's partly based on bomb disposal but it's a very fictional story, it, it really is. But it had never been done before. This is why I call it a landmark TV so It had never been done before. You know, I'd never seen anything like that before, and I haven't really seen much, you know, anything after it. Um, uh, the, I think the only thing that I've seen, um, and I will review this film after I mentioned it, is Hurt Locker. That were about bomb disposal and things like that. So really, you know, you know, Danger USB, 1979, it didn't last for long. It ran only, a full story, one, yeah, I think it ran only a good one season. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, 1979, I, I mean, I was 10 in 76, 11 in 77, 12, I, I was 13 year old in 1979 when this came out. So I, I was very lucky that I could stay up and watch it because it started at 9 o'clock on ITV. But it was. It, it, it is a very good TV series. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a review. This is just me talking about it and using my memories of what you know, it used to be. And yeah, it, it, it did affect everyone in, in his group, basically. His men, each man had his own story about the reason why they were in there. And I think there were one episode where the bomb will it looked like yeah, you know, they call it a butterfly, and the only way you could move it is is by string, you know. So you got to dodge and a bit of string and and pull it slowly away and bring it down, because if it hits ground with a thump, it blows up, and, and it were deadly. That bomb in World War Two were very deadly. They call it the butterfly bomb, as far as I know, because it was silent until it hit ground. So there you go. The special edition, this one starring Anthony Andrews, Maurice Roos, Judy Geeson and Ian Cuthbertson. It was, it, 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 yeah, it was really a very good letter. Bo uh, budgie. Well, he, yeah, well, I know Ian Cuthbertson was budgie, the Maurice. Uh, Dead Man's Shoes, Unsung Heroes, Just Like a Woman, Cast Iron Killer, things like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it really was ill, though, the same way as his predecessor. Popular acclaimed was created. It is an acclaimed, it, 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 it was a popular and critically acclaimed series created. Yeah, I mean, it, it really was, really was, was. Really acclaimed TV series. Um, that's why I call it a landmark series because I never saw anything like this before and I haven't really seen anything after it. You know what I mean? But I found it very interesting, I really did. Um, 
for that. But people get mixed up with with actors in this because the thing, you know, the guy I'm pointing at now, they all seem to think that somebody else played him and he didn't. You know what I mean? And I'm talking, you know, the guy who played Chandler and things like that. It, no, it it wasn't him. This is not Nigel Labors. It was Nigel Labors wasn't involved in this at all. So there you go. So yeah, Danger UXP. But uh, yeah, I liked it. I, I really did like it. I, I really enjoyed the film. And it came out just before 1980. So yeah, yeah, a, a, a very, 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 very good TV series. But like I say, I'm just talking about it. I'm just trying to give a feel for it. Um. It's worth getting if you can get it. Um, I thought I was an hour. It took me a long time to get it, but I've got it on DVD now. So, there you go. I, I think I got this from... I think I got it from HMV originally. But it, 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 it took ages to find it, because one, I didn't know it, it, it was out there, but it is. So, if you can find it, yeah. yeah get it, watch it, and yes, if you're a collector, like I am, I collect all sorts of DVDs. Right through films, right through to TV series and children's TV series. Um, but yeah, this is a very good one. Yeah, I definitely like it. But like I say, I'm only talking about this. I'm not, this is not a review. Unlike the other one was. The two, the two Wallace and Gromits, that were a proper review. This is not, this is just me talking about it. And explaining why I think it's a landmark TV series. Because... And I'll tell you why, it's because in 19, before 1979 there was nothing like this out until this came out. It changed everything. Yeah, it changed how people looked at World War II. Yes, it's a fictional story, like most of World War II stories are, except for the Dam Busters and the Battle of Britain and things like that. Yeah, I mean, and, and stuff like that. But to do a series on, a, on unexploded bombs, that were different. Nobody would expect it. It came out of nowhere. And for years and years and years, people just talked about it and drew inspiration from this. So, yeah. So there you go. That is it in a nutshell. So, yes, I've talked about this. Yes, I've read some notes. Made some notes. <laughs> I haven't watched it for a long time. I will be watching it. And when I do watch it, I'll do a proper review on it. It's as simple as that. So, like I said, if you have liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. So please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new and hit the bell icon. That will let you know when I'm uploading another. Hit the bell icon, hit all. That will let you know I'm, I'm uploading another video. Also, come back from time to time to make sure that you still subscribe to me. Because YouTube has a nasty habit of unsubscribing people from 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 the channels it's the algorithm what does it it thinks you're a robot when you're not also please share the video to your friends and your family and to other social media like twitter facebook instagram and twitch and bing and also use the comment section below you know where you, you know you can talk yeah just keep within the guidelines of this of, of this video and that um, I'm having people coming to me saying, oh, well, I'm missing your taste test and things like that. Well, unfortunately, the taste tests have had to be put on the back burner because prices of food is going up, up through the roof. So I can't do it every week. What I will try and do is one, so month, or when I can, I will do it. But at the moment, yes, I'm, I'm showing DVDs and things like that. And... A, you know, a little bit of camping and things. I know this week I've done completely the opposite to what I said I would do, but I thought, why not? I've got to try, you know, and appeal. I can't please everybody, and I do apologise for it. Yes, I know the taste tests were pretty popular. Well, they well, were popular with some people, not all. But I will try and bring it back if I can. But at this moment in time, I can't afford to, to keep buying... Uh, what I would call a luxury food just to do a taste test on unfortunately I can't do that I can't even afford a takeaway or all like that so what I will do is just keep you informed and when I do put up a taste test just keep an eye out you know one will pop up 
out. And if I can, I'll do it once a month. I do apologise, but I have explained this in a channel update before I switched in June. So go back to that and have a watch at that. And I do explain everything on why I've done what I've done. Yes, I know I've changed my channel format, but it is what it is. Um, I can't help that. Um, you know, you've got to move. If I, if you don't move with the times, um, you know, people didn't like what I was doing really, and YouTube algorithm were getting confused. Um, you know, you know, you know, the popularity of the channel well, it it fell by the wayside basically, and I, I, you know, I had to do videos. You know, start doing. You know, I, I had to pigeonhole myself into one instead of doing multiple different things. I think I had too much on my channel at once. So what I've done is now slim that down to films and camping for this moment in time. And I do do my mental health journey. I have brought that back um, once a month. If I can, I will bring back a taste test, but it'll be, it, it be at least once a month. Or once every two months. When I can afford to do it, I'll do it. So I do apologise. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. For now. Catch you all later.